because, well, my father, of course, was so upset about what had happened to us, plus my having three brothers in the U.S. Army, uh, not knowing what harm might come to them. And, and uh, uh, you know, he had lost the farm and everything, and here and now his whole family was in camp, so he was pretty bitter. And then my oldest brother was a Kibe. He was mainly raised in Japan, and when he came to the U.S., he was... It was the Depression years, and then when we're finally doing good, we get thrown into camp, so uh, he wasn't too happy. Uh, but the uh, uh, but everyone said, well, you got to answer yes, yes, because, you know, one was question was, Were you, are you willing to serve in, in the armed services and report for duty wherever ordered? And then the other question there, uh, which people said, that's like asking to be drafted. And then the second question was, uh, uh, do you um, uh, basically say you have supreme uh, allegiance to the United States and will not have any uh, allegiance to any other um, foreign country or, uh, I don't know if they mentioned the emperor or not, but I think they did. Uh, and uh, so, so there were some people who argued that Hey, you do that. The only the U.S. won't give you citizenship. Never had, and you, so they all the Issei still had their Japanese citizenship. They say you could become stateless if if you say uh, no, no uh, yes, yes. So anyway, they were in a quandary. I always thought it was my father made the final decision, and my sister, older sister, thought it was the oldest brother. But then uh, I found out later. I called them. I wrote to him, I guess, and he was in Japan, and he said it was actually my mother who said, look, I got three sons in the U.S. Army who, you know, who are in harm's way, and then I may have two more, so uh, let's declare no-no, and maybe then they'll be spared, and also we'll keep the family together. And so we became a no-no family, and uh, then we were shipped off to Tule Lake, which was a whole different ball game because when you get there, it's it's an armed encampment prison where the front gate you have all kind of guards and and towers and uh, you have um, um, very high security and um, so in fact the whole camp was surrounded not only by a barbed wire fence but also beyond that was about. 50 yards of no man's land that nobody's going to go into. Then beyond that, you got a 10-foot high uh, chain link fence with barbed wire at the top. And then you had a tower every so many feet apart with guards with their guns. And so it was a prison, you know, uh, posting. You know, we had some guards at the front, but, you know, after a while, uh, the camp was just run by itself. There was no place you could go anyway. So Tule Lake was a whole different ball game. It was a, a true um, concentration camp, uh, prison-like situation.